Right, hey, what's up guys? My name is Ricardo, head designer here at Florida Nova Wedding and Events, and today we're going to be doing an anniversary bouquet. I have this pink Novia rose. I love it. Very inexpensive, but it's also super pretty and it opens up really wide. I have this red Rubicon. I think a really dark red uh, spray rose called Rubicon. I have this pink Lysianthus. And again, green baby eucalyptus. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to process my baby eucalyptus and then we'll process the flowers. So we have our baby eucalyptus. Um, I'm going to show you how I process the baby eucalyptus, but first, definitely, definitely would recommend using gloves. Eucalyptus, they release a sap and it makes your hands super sticky. Uh, it takes forever to get it out, but if you do happen to get some of the eucalyptus oils on your hands, Try using an essential oil like um, uh, citrus oil or lemon oil. Spray that on your hands and rub it in. It really works. I uh, learned that from a friend. I used to work for a shop. Really, really efficient because if you try to use soap and water, it will not come out. But back to the eucalyptus now. It's like a spray. You see, there's this really long main stem, but then there's these two spouts at the bottom. What you want to do, you're going to take these two longer ones off and now you have three stems of eucalyptus to use. So again, we split that off. This baby one can't really use it. It's too tiny. So just going to toss that. These three at the bottom, if I was making maybe something a little bit larger where I could play with this, uh, the wild shape, I would keep it. But for this bouquet, I want to keep it a little more clean. So we are going to snip these off. And uh, I mean, if you have the time, I'd recommend keeping these, letting them dry, or maybe bundling them up and putting them in your shower. They smell really, really good, but I just have too many that I just can't keep up with it. And that was too long, so I cut it down. So again, that's what we're gonna do. Again, clean this off. And the purpose for this is, when you're making a bouquet, you wanna have everything like ready. So. As you'll see later on, I'm going to have everything laid out and we're just going to kind of do like a rapid fire. This, this is really, really wild <sighs> and it, it sucks because of how many little um, sprays this eucalyptus stem has. I might be able to use this one, but it might be a little shorter, but you know what I'm going to do? I, I might make a smaller arrangement later, so I'm going to keep these and yeah, hopefully I can use them, but if not, hey, I tried. You can also cut, cut it with your shears, but I find it faster just to do this. And for this one, I am going to leave these at the top because it's higher up um, compared to when they're too low. What it does, it creates a gap in between the, the flowers. And maybe I'll be able to explain it later what I mean by that, but essentially the, the sprays coming out, if they're too low, they push the heads of the flowers out. And then so it just looks like it's empty in the middle. So let's keep these over here. Put them in a little bit of water. Where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles, California. And I apologize, guys. Um, just trying to record and then I'm going to come back to look at the comments maybe every four or five minutes. But I am from Los Angeles. Now that we have everything in single stems, what we're going to do, we're going to now strip the leaves up, maybe leaving about a foot. I'm right handed, so I grab it with my right hand. I pinch it, and then with my left hand, I strip upwards. And then kind of try to get all those leaves out of here. And that's what I'm left with, so pretty much just going to do it for the rest of the flowers.
eucalyptus is processed, ready to use. So now we have our lisianthus. This should be pretty simple. It's just one bunch. I believe there's seven stems. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven stems in lisianthus. That is typically standard size. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull one of these, um, one of these stems off. As you can see, lisianthus, they're really nice. Um, although they can be a little on the expensive side per stem, they're nice because they have a lot of buds shooting out. So if I'm trying to go for something wild and fresh and organic, I'll definitely use lisianthus. And, and these are actually imported lisianthus. You can tell if lisianthus are imported by the size of their head. Local lisianthus are huge. They're, um, they're almost the size of a small rose head. But these are from Holland, if I'm not mistaken, and the, they have super small heads, come in a lot of different colors, and they're just really nice to use for wild arrangements. The local lisianthus can be a little tougher because of how large the heads are, so it just makes it a little trickier to use. But again, what I did right now, sorry, I'm like talking and I'm, I'm not even uh, explaining. What I'm doing, I'm basically just taking off these uh, these larger leaves. This is how I like to explain the reason for taking off the leaves on flowers. What happens, you give your stem a fresh cut, right? You put it in water. The water starts to travel up. If you have extra foliage on here, as the water is traveling up, it's then dispersing water to the leaves because it wants to keep the whole plant alive. So it's coming up, coming up. Oh, there's a set of leaves here. Oh, we're gonna give some water there. Upwards, you come across a lot of leaves and then by the time it gets to the head there's not as much water don't get me wrong water is still going straight to the head which is why they can stay alive like this but they stay hydrated better if you take off these leaves and so essentially the water will just travel straight up the stem to the head this particular branch it's a uh, it's a little low where it's coming and the actual stem is pretty long so what i will do i'll plop this off well I'll plop that off and I'll be able to use this as a separate stem. Look at this I got like a bonus stem here because we're gonna take this off boom now we have two stems take this off boom now we have three stems take this off now we have four stems Take this off, now we have five stems. Look at that, from one stem, technically one stem, we were able to create five stems. Be very gentle with your lisianthus because all it takes is a little too much pressure and you're gonna snap the head off of the flower. too clustered for me, but I'm gonna leave it for now. And as I'm adding that stem, I might tone it down a little bit, but we'll see. All right, so let's put that to the side. Now we're gonna move on to our Rubicon. This is a spray rose, really nice spray rose. As you're gonna see when I take off this packaging, they, um, the heads are pretty tight, but they open up very, very nicely. And be very careful, there are a lot of um, thorns. There's a lot of thorns on, uh, on this uh, Rubicon. Also be careful if you ever work with Lovely Lydia, those have a lot of thorns as well. So be aware of that. But yeah, I'm just gonna take off a handful of the, the foliage. Again, just cleaning it up, making sure the flower can stay hydrated efficiently. So look at the difference between these two. Maybe I should do it on the side, right? Because I have the white background. But yeah, that's uh, that's how I want it to look. This is how it comes. If I were doing, say, just uh, 12, like a dozen stems in a, in a vase, 
I would keep most of the foliage. Just, I think that would be pretty. But since this is a mixed bouquet, I will take off the majority of these uh, the stems or the foliage. Rubicon, all shaved. I gave the, the Rubicon a Brazilian wax, as I like to call it. These are just standard roses. This particular variety is called Novia. Novia in Spanish means girlfriend. So, I mean, this is like the perfect girlfriend flower, I think. That's why, because of like the, the blush pink. And I mean, they're just so pretty. The head is large, really consistent flower. So I love it, packing them in this box. This helps with transportation. And it's really interesting because here at the top, you'll see only, was it like 12 heads, right? But there's actually 25 stems in here. And the way that's possible is because they layer them. So as you can see right here, these four heads are layered. This is at, on the top, these are layered at the bottom. And once I take these four out, take these, I guess eight out, there's another little piece of cardboard here that is covering another set of roses right here. So 25 stems of roses per package. So if you ever go to Whole Foods or Trader Joe's and you see them in dozens, what they do, basically they have florists at Whole Foods, they unpackage the, the boxes and then they process them, put them in a plastic sleeve by 12s and then put them in the containers or waters. And that's why dozen roses are most popular to be sold, but they're always bought in 25 cents. Let me show you guys how I like to process my roses. I like to use this plastic tool I bought off Amazon. Just type in flower stripper or rose stripper. And basically it's just a plastic foldable flower shaped thing and it's bendable. So what you do, you grab it or you grip it at the top of the, the neck of the rose, squeeze it and you strip down and it basically takes off all of the foliage. This is not meant to take off any thorns. There is a separate tool for that. Um, but this does tend to knock off certain uh, thorns if you do grip it hard enough. So I don't have the other tool, I kind of just use this and then if I really need to with a knife, I take off the thorns. But it's uh, this is super, super handy and this will help you from nicking yourself. Because even if this, like, this rose doesn't have any thorns, you can still nick yourself with the, the leaves or even um, there's these little knuckles or these nodes that the rose has that can be pretty sharp sometimes. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. Basically, I just wanna show you guys how I prepare and process my flowers for the bouquet. Check out my next video and I'll show you a tutorial of how I actually create the bouquet. Turn on my notifications so you don't miss it, but I should be posting that video probably a day after I post this one. So catch you guys later. Follow me on Instagram and my TikTok. I will put the my usernames right here. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.